Hi, welcome to Hell Sidekick. In this video, we'll simply be going over the log section. And again, you'll you, we're on our dashboard right now, but you can get to the log section from your dashboard by clicking in the log section here on any one of the log food, physical, spiritual, or you can find it over here on your left hand side. And again, you can get to all, obviously all these areas via your phone as well. So if we go to uh, daily log and we're going to start looking at uh, food that we're going to be eating, uh, you can easily, and I'm going to get to on the, this daily log, you'll see where it says plan daily, plan once a week, plan four times and plan five times and plan daily. On this particular section, uh, we're going to go over the plan and how you can use that in a later section. Right now, we're just simply going to talk about logging. So when I want to log food, is all I simply do is go add new. And let's say I had some an egg for breakfast. I can go ahead and go egg. Boom, it's in there. And I can say how many eggs I had. I had three. And then I just simply said save, and then it's in there. That's how simple logging is. It works the same with the physical activity. I'm going to just remove this because I didn't have that. I'm going to, uh, on, on the physical activity, same thing. You can go ahead and go, uh, I did a walk. And it, this is kind of a significant thing, though, because remember, in Health Sidekick, this database, even though we have a public one for everyone to draw off of if you want, creating your own little database is important because that then it's specific to you and you're getting data back on, on your particular for your particular body and uh, it it makes it makes sense to try to do that yourself so if you knew know what a walk is for example I can go okay there's my okay I did a walk and I know that walking at this speed on this particular walk it's about 300 calories if I only did 30 Obviously, it will calculate it for me, and I click Save. It's as simple as that. On the uh, mental and the uh, spiritual activity, when you do, and these are obviously things that you consider to be mental, you consider to be sp spiritual. Logging is obviously part of my uh, part of my plan, and so those are part of my mental and spiritual activity. And what we'll do is we'll put a calorie count on this for you. So that you'll see, for example, what you consider to be a mental and spiritual activity and how it translated into calories for you. What this means over here is that every time I went to a, this particular meeting or did a, went to a, uh, this uh, meeting in this, that I have in here, I ate five uh, more calories on that particular day. Now, at that meeting, there's some food there. So the reality is, is that uh, maybe that's what's translating. Maybe I need to if I'm worried about that five extra calories, maybe I need to go ahead and make sure I don't eat the food at that particular place or, or that spiritual activity or that mental activity. Another thought thought process if it uh, is if, that if it's five calories, it may not be a big deal. But if you notice that it's 100 calories or 200 calories, that might be something that you decide not to do in the future. Anyhow, I hope that helps. That's, your log, that's the daily log on the historical log. You'll go ahead and just simply go to history. And let's say, for example, I wanted to see what happened over the last, uh, since the 1st of January, and I wanted to see to today's date. I can go ahead and search, and it will very easily show me my total calories, my total, all my activity that I did, and how that translated into weight loss or body fat percentage. And then I can quickly get an average, so I can see what my average for the last that period of time was on a per day basis. I can very easily see it's a summary of what I did here. I can see the foods I ate and I and if I want to take a look at it, the foods a little closer, remember I can simply go ahead and click on it and I can say, oh, this is what it was and I can get a better idea of what I was eating. If I didn't like, for example, the result I was getting from these foods, these activities, I lost a quarter pound in that period of time. If I wanted to get more, I might take a look at changing some things if I didn't if I didn't want to just adjust calories remember when we're talking to I'll get into that later but uh, I apologize for anyhow so all of this includes my food it also will include my uh, spiritual and mental activity if I decide to have that and then you can have your blood pressure your blood glucose and your other uh, measurements here you can also go ahead and take a look at for example your charting in here as well on the logging section, on the there's one more section to go over, and it'll be quick. The charting section in the logs page, 
And it, what this allows you to do is it allows you to compare different dates. So I can have, for example, calories consumed here to my uh, mental activity, for example. And I can go ahead and add another chart. Let's say I wanted to now see it from the week prior. I can go ahead and pick the week prior and go ahead and add. And now there's a, another, there's three charts there that I can go ahead and view. And I can go ahead and take a look at how all those things impacted my overall health and what I did in comparison to my weight and so forth. And I can go ahead and obviously track my weight and stuff. That's about it for the logs page. Thank you.